Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgon111, and welcome back to Bug Fables. Last time, we had close to a success uh, with trying to defeat Zap and Mothva. And so now we're going to try it again. However, off camera, I went and cooked up two honey drops individually, which turned into glazed honey, which restores 8 TP. So basically, with some TP restoring items in my party's inventory, I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to uh, have a few more awesome attacks, or possibly have Kabu give a pep talk at some point if needed. So things will work out okay. That's my hope. Um, do I want V in the front at first? I think yes, and I'm going to have her do... Yeah, we're going to use, like, all the skill points here. So, skills. Alright, so let's do a Hurricane Toss against Mothaba. So we want to take down Mothaba first. That's going to make Zap angry. Kabu, I don't have anything great for you to do, honestly. Uh, is there any item that does something passive? I could use a numbnail dart early in the fight to put, uh, what's his name, to sleep? It's actually not a bad idea. Let's try that. Okay, so let's put Zap to sleep. And then you're going to use a skill as well. And then I think let's just target one and let's do Frigid Coffin and we can just target Mothaba while Zap is asleep. I think that sounds like a good idea. All right. End of the countdown, and then the button's shown in order. Oh boy. Z. Uh, down, right, Z. Got her. Okay. And it's okay if Zap is healing. I don't really care. Um, I think I'll do a normal attack now with V. On Mothba. That's another four hit points. Great. Um, Kabu... He can't target Mothaba, right? Yeah. And I'm not sure if he would wake up Zap. So... Let's have him just go ahead and spy Zap so we'll know his hit points for later. Oops! I missed the spy. <laughs> Alright, it's the easiest skill in the world, and I screwed it up. And then... Let's have you, Frigid Coffin, Mothaba again. All right. Oh boy. Oh, I hit her, but I didn't actually freeze her. All right, and she did a bunch of painful stuff. That's a shame. Okay, uh, V is hurting. So let's switch things out so that Kabu is now in the front. Uh, nevertheless, let's have him... Let's have him go ahead and use one of the glazed honeys so I get a bunch of TP back. All right. And then... Let's try an ice fall. I didn't manage to freeze either of them. Oh boy. Okay. Um, and so V... Let's do another tornado toss or a hurricane toss. Hmm. I don't know that Mothaba has any defense, so the tornado toss is probably good enough in order to do a lot of damage to her. Yeah, alright, we brought her down. Me. Oh, and I blocked. Alright, B went down. Uh, but Kabu could pep talk her, or I could just use a magic seed. Let's use the magic seed. Uh, let's keep my, um, what do you call, TV points for attacks. And now I'm going to try to Frigid Coffin you, question mark. I do want to do that, but first I want to have V attack and just see if V can deal some damage to you. Actually, let's have V go ahead and deal more damage to you by using Tornado Toss. Or no, Hurricane Toss, because you have defense. Yeah, let's do this. 
cool. All right, and now I'm gonna try to frigid coffin you. Yes, that sounds good. All right, remember where my buttons are. Okay. Nice. Okay, and now that he's coffined, this is a good time for Kabu to do his normal attack because he deals extra damage, I think, to frozen enemies. Four is great. Um, let's switch to V and do... Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and use skills and do another... Oh, don't have enough for another hurricane toss. Okay, then in that case, let's just have V attack. Or, mm, no. Let's have V use an item. Let's use my other glazed honey. Here we go. Gonna go all out. All right. And then... Yeah, now let's have you frigid coffin. Uh, didn't manage to freeze him, sadly. And he's taunting Kabu. But I did manage to block. Oh, there's another tag. I didn't see it coming. All right. We're still actually doing okay. Uh, Kabu was forced to attack him. That's fine. However, I would like to try to freeze him first. Is that what I want to do? Uh, no, let's just have Kabu attack him. All right. And then let's also just have V attack. No, V is gonna use Hurricane Toss. Yes. Just laying on as much damage as we can. And now... Leaf is still not hurting. Yeah, so I think let's risk... Um, another Frigid Coffin? Yeah, because we might be able to freeze him. Alright, so let's go for it. Okay. I did a bunch of damage, yes! Alright, took him out. Hooray. And it just took me a couple of glazed honeys. Which is not a big... and a magic seed. Um, but yeah, that just cost me some berries. I'm fine with that. Alright, so we defeated them. They're strong. How dare you sully my fluff, you talentless, disgusting peasants. That's what you get for trying to hijack our mission. Mothaba, you are nowhere near as kind as I hoped you would be. Hmm, and Zasp? You lost the little respect we had for you. Silence! I won't forget this. You haven't seen what an amazing performance I can give. Mothaba, we should retreat for now. I know that, and not because you told me. We'll meet again, Team Snake Mouth. All right. So, they were here to basically steal our thunder. We did all the work of unlocking this, and then they wanted to explore in ahead and claim the artifact for themselves. Um, the things some would do for fame. But yeah, Mothava is obviously very self-centered, but also a famous performer that people love. I mean, I almost can't blame her. Getting an artifact really bumps you up in the ranks. Not like I was going to let it take him for the rest of it, though. <laughs> Well, despite our unexpected detour, we should be able to proceed now. We sent some strong magic up there. Let's make sure we're prepared. Okay, so make sure we're prepared, I'm pretty sure, is my key for... You should probably have some more items again. So I'm going to go cook up some more honey, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got a couple more glazed honeys. And so now I think we are ready to proceed. And see where this takes us. Uh-oh. Strong magical powers are affecting Leaf. Are you alright? It's been a while since one of those episodes. We're probably getting close to the artifact then. Yes, so much magic. Perhaps you should stay here, Leaf, until we clear a path. No, we're fine now. We won't retreat when we're so close. Look, stop acting tough. It'll be bad if you trip and stuff. Thank you, V, but we're fine. Let's go. If you feel weak at any point, we'll stop. Let's go, team. All right, what does this uh, turny thing right here do? Um, nothing if you don't hit it. 
All right, it's impossible to hit, apparently. It might just be our way back down. Uh, let's not worry about that right now. <laughs> just occurred to me. Also, it appears that there's some kind of magical text up here that I could read. Oh, and another uh, gold save. That's always nice. When the goddess eats the sun and then devours the moon, only then will she appear. Oh, right, we have those two offerings that are like key items that are still inside our inventory. So are we going to meet the actual goddess? And feed her good foods? Alright, nothing over here. Looks like there'll be something up there eventually. Although maybe that's the thing the Trank was turning or whatever? Hmm. Alright, gotta look for all the things. Um, sure, let's get the one up on this guy. There's another Venus Bud, but now we have it spied, so we kind of know how it works. Um, Kabu should flip this guy first. And I think... I think we can deal enough damage to take the first guy out. Because V can deal another two. And then, yeah. Leaf can just do whatever. All right, one enemy down. Yeah. And I forgot how that thing attacks. Okay. Um... Let's move Kabu to the front. So that if we do take more damage, it'll be likely him absorbing it. Right, and then it starts flying. I forgot about that. All right, V, knock it out of the air. There we go, and now Leaf can attack it again. And now it's up in the air again. But I managed to do some blocking, but it did put Kabu to sleep. Okay, so V, need to knock it out of the air. How many hit points does it have left? Oh, none. Hooray! We did it! And we are getting close to a level up, and so if I needed to use some TP uh, to heal or whatever, like, that's totally doable. Um, there's a question mark here. There's a hole something could fit in here. But I am not currently carrying any cranks. So I guess I need to go find one over here somewhere. Alright. Well, I think I know all the gimmicks of this place now. I see another chompy guy over there. Let's see if we can stun him. Crap. He's chasing me. Got him. Okay. That way I get the first first attack and an extra move from V. But V is still injured, so let's move Kabu to the front. And... Yeah, let's try to take out this thing first. Sure. Alright, so let's use one of these attacks. Knock it out of the air. And then Leaf do some dirty work. Actually, hmm. Since I do have a bunch of TP, let's actually try to hit both. Icefall. Nice. And in that case, um, V... Why don't you give yourself a secret stash? Just to make sure you keep your hit points up. Alright. They become unfrozen, that's fine. Kabu is going to finish this one off. And then Leaf and V, I think, should be able to finish this one off. Come on, V, you can do it. Darn. <laughs> I was wrong, but I did block, so good for me. Okay. That was not bad. We spent some TP, uh, but we're going to get a refresh with one more battle, it looks like. And we got a bunch of berries, which is always good. And hopefully we'll find a crank around here somewhere. 
Uh, another berry that I don't think it went in my inventory. There we go. Now it's in my inventory. I see. So apparently I can go this way. That's kind of mean, the way the camera makes it hard to see what you're going to be jumping into when we've got... Oh no! Terrible! Okay. I understand what I need to do. Which is, I need to do this. Alright, I'm holding the button. And now I can let go of the button. There we go. Okay. I did a thing. And I do see a crank back there. So it was totally worth it. Okay. I seem to have gotten the hang of some of these platforming bits, at least. So that is good. So we got a crank. And... hmm. I don't think I really need to go back and, like, save anywhere. So I think we can just move forward with this crank. What is this crank going to do? I guess something in the background over there? Well, let's go ahead and, uh... Oops. I picked the wrong item because I thought I had to press the button in order to advance the text. Wooden crank. Alright, let's watch what happens. Uh, B, do your thing. It's that thing in the back. Alright, come on. Oh, it also rotates the bridge. Okay. So I need to throw it and hop on the bridge, I think is what I'm hearing. Except the bridge just rotated around. Is the bridge just constantly rotating now? What's going on? I'm so confused. Okay. Um... Darn it. Okay, so I hold it down. And then get ready to catch the bridge. Got it. And I hold it down. And then I jump up here, and over here, and over here, and then I let go, and now this thing's gonna go up. Okay. I did the thing. Um, I found that pretty taxing, but I did manage to succeed the first time, so I guess I can't complain. Okay. Um, where are we, and is there an enemy hiding around here? What is this thing? This looks like an item. A flytrap rests in this trunk. It seems to be waiting for something. Uh, do we give up the sun and the moon offering? I bet you we do. Um, hold on. Ah, moon goes here. There's like a sign right behind it. Okay, so let's give it the moon offering. Yum! Okay, I think we're gonna meet the goddess Venus. Or ah, and one of the two gates opened. Okay, got it. Um, yeah, I think we're going to meet the goddess Venus herself, according to the prophecy on that tablet or whatever it was that we saw earlier. So that's excitement and adventure. Also, what does this do? It gives me a shortcut back. I think it gave me a shortcut back. Oh, and a moving platform to make it easy to come back in the future. Well, that's kind. Oh, oh, and I can hit the save. Nice. Yes, please. Alright, I can use all the TPs, because we'll be able to get them back when we come back here after doing the left-hand side. Okay, I have great confidence. Also, this one is not nearly as difficult. A fly trap. It's waiting for something. Let's give it the sun offering. Alright, this is good. I can get these key items out of my inventory, because my inventory is getting cluttered. Although I perhaps can hold as many key items as you could ever need. Okay. Uh, we didn't manage to fight enough enemies to level up, but we did open the door. Uh, but I am very close to level, and so if there's, it seems like there's a boss battle coming up, I might go back and... Yeah, this kind of looks scary. I think I'm going to come back after I try to defeat one or two more enemies, so I'll be right back. Alright, there is a level up. Rank up! Do, 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 do. And I think I might take hit points this time. We're doing okay in terms of teamwork points. And I still don't have that many medals I need, so let's give everybody an extra health point. And I think that'll be good. Okay. Oh, and a crunchy leaf. That is quite the bonus. Um, I'm quite pleased by that. Alright, I'll go meet you guys back over near Venus now. 
Okay, back here. We get a cutscene. The artifact is here, somewhere. You sure? I mean, it's just flowers all around us. Flowers! That's it! One of these flowers must be the artifact. Uh, probably not. Only one way to find out. Start cutting, Kabu. What? <laughs> That's enough. By the gods, it's Venus herself. Whoa. All right. Why is the music so sinister? Indeed, the one and only. I've been keeping my ear on you with my precious buds. I was really, really hoping all the bridges and monsters would stop you. So stubborn. And now you're even trampled upon my garden? My precious garden? It was just a joke, okay? We need the artifact. To line your pockets. Hmph. You cared more for an artifact than for your blue friend there. Washed up from a river, yet you worried more about a material thing than your own companion. What? How did you... My roots travel all across the soil. Sometimes I catch gossip. Incredible. This is truly the feat of a higher being. Though I must say, Kabu, I am beyond pleased with your worship. Please, I am not worthy. You're so chivalrous and kind, so why won't you share your burdens with your friends, huh? Venus, please, say no more. What's your deal? Is nagging people a goddess's job? You know everything, then? What bothers V, Kabu, and us? Well, not everything, but I certainly know more than you lot. Then what about us? Why are we still here after so many years? Leaf. You. You're all way different than your average bug. Greed, sadness, purpose, such diverse motives within your team. Interesting. Okay. Please, tell us. Be Kabu, Leaf, the artifact, and the questions you all want to ask. If you get through my special trial, they are yours. Bring it on, we'll have our answers. Well said, it's artifact time. Venus, despite everything, I will face your trial with honor. Get ready. I don't know that I'm ready. I usually am not the first time around. Oh my goodness, it's a giant flower monster. Why wouldn't it be? I don't know if it's gonna go first, so I'm gonna be ready to block, hopefully. Way bigger than the spider. Get ready. We can do it. Okay. Is it going first? It is not. I am going first. Okay, that's fantastic. Um, do I want to spy this thing? Is a question I might ask. Uh, knowing its health could be useful, and sometimes I get useful tips. So, let's see. Um, let's put Kabu in the front, since he's going to be the tank. And let's just have him attack to start, and then we'll have one of the others spy. Alright, he did it for three. I'm going to spy with V, and so let's also have Leaf attack. He did it for two, great. And then let's do a spy, and let's actually not fail the spy, because it's very easy. There we go. Oh my gosh, 51 hit points and one defense. Okay. Leaf just hit it already. Okay. Are you ready for this? Probably not. Okay, I got a block. That was good. It had a big wind up, and so I just hoped. Um, everybody did take some damage. I could use one of my platters if I wanted to. But I should use someone who deals the least amount of damage to do so. Um, and we should probably try a Frigid Coffin to see if that's going to deal extra damage. Or, mm, no, V should use her uh, attacky thing. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, Kabu's just going to attack. Because he's getting some good damage in with three. Leaf is going to use an item... 
specifically a roasted berries, because everybody took two damage, and this will give everybody two back. So we filled back up. And then V is going to use a hurricane toss and deal a lot of damage with this. All right, I did like four or five damage there. Okay, I did not manage to block those, and we took a ton of damage. Yikes. Um, what's the appropriate thing to do here? I think kind of the same thing I just did. Let's see. V and Kabu took a ton of damage, so I'd like to heal them. I guess I could hope since V's in the back, she's not going to take as much damage. Yeah, and so we can give Kabu the fried egg at some point. Okay, that's my plan. Uh, so let's have you distribute a fried egg to Kabu. And V, you're going to use your skills once again to hurricane toss. All right. Dealt a bunch of damage. You're stronger than you look. But have you ever seen something like this? Probably not. Oh, he's gonna fly. Okay, I got the block timing on those, and apparently picked up one of those things. Okay, but now he's flying. Um, Kabu's currently all healed up, but the rest are not doing great. Okay. Remind me what skills you have. I could taunt so that I take the damage in the next round. Or... I think I'll have you go ahead and use one of my glazed honeys. Oh yeah, I have a crunchy leaf too. I need to remember that. All right. That'll get us some more whatchamacall. Then the... Um, yeah, I think you always want a hurricane toss, basically, because it's very good. All right. Wow, that did really good. While he was flying, I feel like he was taking extra damage. Okay, I wonder if I could Frigid Coffin this guy. It would be worth a shot, I think. So I'm going to try that as well. Although, hmm. No, I'm going to try Frigid Coffin again. All right, here goes. Oh, right. I have to press the buttons in the right order. Okay. Neat. All right, so I took away his turn. But he's still flying. Is he going to shoot at me? Crap. Okay, but I managed to block. Okay, that's good. Um, it seems like V did extra damage when he was in the air, so we're going to try that again. So, skills, hurricane toss. Okay. Nice. He's down to 12. Gotta make sure V stays alive. Do I want to taunt? Do I want to get another... I'm going to need to use my other honey. Kabu could lay some good damage on him right now, though. Or V could try to freeze him again, and Kabu could use the other glazed honey. Let's do that. So let's get some TP back. And then see if you can manage to Frigid Coffin him once again. Alright, so be ready to press the buttons in the right order. Oh! That wasn't quite right. You really know how to fight dirty. But I can fight dirty too. You better get ready. Uh-oh. Oh no. It's a summon. And a heal. Oh no. We had this thing almost killed, and now we have to fight that thing in the back. Okay. What's my plan of attack here? Two of my guys could target what's in the back. It'll use up most of the rest of my TP, but that does seem like it's going to be necessary. 
And then Kabu, I'm not sure what you're doing just yet. But I think V is going to... No, I think we're going to start with you. You're going to just Tornado Toss, the one in the back. Because it doesn't have defense that we need to cut through. Alright, so I did a bunch of damage there. Oh, but now it starts flying. I forgot about that. Uh, but even if it's flying, V can hit it with Ice Fall. So then we're going to use Ice Fall. Cool. Great. And then I think Kabu should just attack unless there's another item that's going to give me more TP in my inventory. I don't remember. I could also throw the Numbnail Dart at the front guy and hope that that puts him to sleep for a turn. That could be really good, actually. Um, let's try that. I don't think it worked. And Leaf just went down. Okay, that's a shame. Um, I own a Magic Seed, so let's bring Leaf back onto the battlefield. Uh, B face over here could totally take out the back thingy using a hurricane. Is that what I want to do? Could Leaf also take it out? Leaf might be able to take it out too with a normal attack. Yeah, let's try just using normal attack and see if we can just take out the back um, healing bud thing. Okay. Nice. Okay. Then, you definitely want a hurricane. Yes. Hurricane toss. It's not flying, though. Should I wait until it's flying? Hold on. I only have one of these left. So yeah, let's wait until it's flying and hopefully you'll stay alive and uh, Kabu could pep talk you if you're not currently alive. So yeah, let's just hit you with the... Oh, except for that's not going to deal any damage at all. I forgot about that. Alright, good job, Kabu. Alright, so yeah, Kabu, do this. That didn't put it in the air, uh, so V, go ahead and hit it as well. That also didn't put it in the air. And at this point, I just need to deal as much damage as I can because it seems like we're close to the end of the battle. And so we're going to go all out and try the Hurricane Toss and see how it does against you when you're on the ground. It did four or five. I blocked too early. Okay, but we can still totally do this. Um, yeah, I think if I just fight, I'm going to win. Alright, come on, Leaf. You can totally do this. I think I did it! Aye! Did I beat a boss on the first try? By being overly prepared? Achievement unlocked! I got an achievement. Ouch. Bugs nowadays have become quite strong. It is our honor to hear so, Venus. Now, if you'd answer us. And hand over the artifact. Fine, fine. I really owe you anyways. Other than Aria, it's been years since I saw another bug. It's been so refreshing. Hmm, were your roots not all across Bulgaria? Well, my buds don't really have eyes. I can only sense things with them, you see. So you didn't see what happened to us in Snakebath then. Tell me more, you curious thing. Back when Elizant the first ruled, our team was on a scouting mission to Snakebath. We fell under, and a spider trapped us. We went to sleep and woke up, when V and Kabu saved us. So many moons later. That was quite a while back. Let me try and remember. Yes, a team of three. One of them falls, the other two flee with their lives. They lived! Thank goodness. The remaining one lingers, yet the presence vanishes. What, it just vanishes? Hmm, I don't recall feeling that presence since. Even now, I cannot sense Leaf's presence. Although, I see you here. 
I'm sorry, but that's all I can tell you. Venus, thank you. Knowing our team was safe brought us much peace. Ain't a goddess for nothing. We are ever closer to the truth, Leith. Yep, awesome. No questions from you, Kabu? Thank you, Venus. But don't worry. I am managing quite well. If anyone's fine on the team, it's Kabu. Hmm? I respect your wishes on this. Anyway, that just leaves... I know, I know. The artifact. Honestly, such a greedy bee doesn't deserve it. Be grateful for your teammates. But anyway, here you go. It's the artifact. You have found the ancient tablet. Hooray! Also, I'm very near death, so if anyone wants to full heal me and give me a save, I would totally be down with that. Team Snakemouth ventured into the Golden Settlement in search of another hidden artifact and answers about Leaf's slumber. After festival of joy, friendship, and bonding, the path to the Sacred Hills opened for them. Filled with determination, they gathered the pieces to reach its highest point, fought off Saft and Mothava along the way. Now they've earned the goddess's approval and artifact. Could the way to the everlasting Saft finally be within reach? That's the end of chapter two. All right. Nice. Mission super complete. We should go report back then. That tablet is important to find the everlasting sapling that the queen's searching for. I do not know how it works, but it should hold clues on how to locate it. Thank you, Venus. How can we ever repay you? Hmm, just promise to visit me sometime, all right? Bring Ari if you can. And don't tell the others of me, of course. Stay safe. And remember, I'm always watching over you. Would you like to save? Yes. Thank you. Save complete. Okay. We got a save. We got an achievement. Uh, we're not healed up. Um, let's take a look in our logbook. Does it show achievements in here? Um, I don't know that there's achievements per se. All right, let's not worry about that. Um, let's see if I can get back to... Is there anything hidden in here? Looks like it's just flowers. Very pretty. Uh, let's get back to... Uh, this is a save crystal that is no longer yellow, which means it's not going to heal me. However, I think it's just a straight walk back to town, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, that did not heal me. Um, I would not mind... Picking up some free berries, if they're easily within reach. And then in order to go back down, I need to throw this farther. There we go. Alright, I believe there was also a yellow healing crystal here, so let's see if it is still here. It's blue as well. Interesting. I wonder if as a result of, like, getting the achievement, all the yellow crystals have turned blue now or something? Hey, Team Snake Mouth! Oh, it's that other pair. We drank too much juice last night, so we couldn't get moving. Yeah, I saw you guys passed out in the hotel room. Couldn't even watch the last ceremony. We heard you made it into the hills. I assume you found the artifact? That's right! I'm so jealous. That's two important artifacts you snagged from everyone else. Great job. We should head back to the Ant Kingdom at once. The Queen will be very pleased. We're doing great. Come now, V. Let's go to the Ant Kingdom. We'll go on ahead and notify the Queen and prepare an audience. If you don't want to walk all the way back, you should go through the Ant Tunnels. There should be one just outside the settlement. Right, we could have paid to open it early, and I chose not to because I was saving my money. Um, I probably don't need to save it now. Uh, if we talk to Arya, is she going to say anything about Venus? You met Venus, didn't you? She sent me a request to keep the Golden Hills entrance open for you. You must have done very well to receive her approval. Alright, great. Um, my items are currently very low. Um, but I feel like we're not going to encounter much on the way back. So I'm willing to leave it like that for now. And I just want to check out what these ant tunnels are like before we end the episode. Um, there's something new for sale here, I think. Hold on. 
Sleep Bomb. Toss it in enemies to make them very sleepy. Alright, I can move without that. Um... Are these the ant tunnels? Permit verified. Welcome, explorers. Would you like to access the mines? Yeah. Okay, so we're in a place. Right. Okay, and then I can see that there's like the uh, the Ant Kingdom symbol over here, so I believe this brings us... Yeah, back. And we had some lore, but... Hmm. Yeah, while I'm here and see the library standing in front of me... Oh, and we have some discoveries too. Let's just see what we can cash in. We have nine discoveries. Last time you found six. Not enough for the next reward tier. All right, but I did find a lore book or two. Uh, yes, a lore book. Here we go. I'll put it on the shelf. Check it out whenever. I see. And you can read our lifespan. Before the Day of Awakening, we used to live very little, only a few days or moons. We were helpless larvae. Marriage was the end of life. We don't even remember being larva. Becoming an adult is like being born, and then get to enjoy this beautiful land for many years. Hard not to pity our ancestors. Okay, so basically at some point in the past, things changed. Uh, right, that's the guy who over there wants the bad books, and we don't have any more bad books. Things changed, and these uh, bugs became like sentient, and have long lifespans, and are more people-like in terms of how things go. Uh, and the queen, I guess, is in the back of that area. But I would very much like to... Right, there was a request on the request board to review the inn, which was ra rather cheap. Yeah, the inn's right here, and it also gives me a honey drop. So, in review required. So if I take this quest and then go to the inn, Customers, we've come to write a review. Really? I'm so glad you've come. Be glad after the review. Our standard fare is three berries a night. So for you three, that would be nine berries with a free honey drop on the house. But since you're writing a review, you can stay here for free tonight. For free? I won't complain, but trying to bribe us already, huh? Oh, um, worry not, innkeeper. We will accept your generous offer. Please make sure we have the same experience as all of your guests. And we will keep the price of the stay in mind for our review. Phew. All right, then. Your room's upstairs. Great. Talk to me when you wake up so I can get your review. Neat. Okay. So I got a free and stay as a result of doing that quest. And I guess that's basically its own reward. And we get the honey drop once again. Because we paid to stay here once before before we knew about the review system. Okay. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Hmm. <laughs> Milking it. I slept pretty well. The honey drop was great. We haven't had a bed so cozy in years. Or any bed, really. It was good. It was great, yes. My bed hurt my back. All right, service still got it. I need the confidence boost. You're great. I can't wait to come again. Come back anytime. Yes, of course. Quest complete! We completed a quest! Okay, uh, give me a save and we'll call it a day. Um, is there a save on the screen? There is! We did it! Alright, I hope as always that you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more Bug Fables!